Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Metroid Redesign and Terrain. This place is evil in here. So this is pretty much your basic standard terrain. Except it's more deadly. Which is pretty much high. A normal thing for Super Metroid Hex to do. But this goes a bit beyond that. Go there. Because these guys respawn. I, that's not what I wanted to get off me. And. Good grief, this is going to come up well. I don't want to die right as soon as I get in here. Freeze! Thank you. So yeah, and it's not just this guy in here. Hello there. Yeah, this hack is... Ow! Get off me! Stupid... No height door. Oh my goodness. Metroids? Metroids? Work with me. Thank you. So yeah, <laughs> welcome to Terrain and Redesign. Land of Metroids will get you, and they are harder to get off, and they're evil. And faster. These guys are not very nice. Now the Metroid speed is actually high. Is actually much closer to the original Metroid than Super was. Super Metroid's Metroids are like very slow. Like so easy to dodge and stuff, but I'm just gonna stand here and let you get on me, because why not? Spear attack is extremely useful for when these guys are on you and you're out of bombs and Metroid. Oh my goodness. Please get off. And stay off. Oh my goodness. Metroid. You are full now. Stop eating me. Stop it. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Get off of me, thank you. No! What are you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, thank you. He responds, doesn't he? See, here is why. I wanted rapid fire beam. Especially with plasma, because it'll go through and freeze any other. Metroids behind one metroid. There we go. But it doesn't help in this hack. Not that not only are these things faster, harder to get off, and whatnot. Ow, good grief, really? That was Oh my goodness. Sure, join the party, why not? This is being Watch these all respawn. Oh, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hey. Oh, my goodness. There's these guys everywhere. Get me out of there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Turning is not an easy place. And it's kind of a... I mean, to a certain extent, as to be expected, it is terrain. This should be a very deadly place. It's got Metroids, which are obviously supposed to be the threat to the... Oh my goodness. The whole galaxy. But... Oh my goodness. Just... <sighs> Metroids. Nobody likes you. Oh my goodness. Hi, join the party. <sighs> you 
you will learn how to be aggravated in here. <laughs> Stupid Metroid. I'm sure there's more than one of you. Oh, hi. There you are. It took forever to get here. Look at that. Despite that, my energy is still... Um, yeah. Let's lay a bomb on Oh, hi. So yeah, and s these rooms, it's not just because they respawn, some of these rooms you don't just have to kill the Metroids once. And some of these rooms, I am positive you made it, you have to destroy more than the amount of Metroids in that room to advance, just because they respawn. So the terrain becomes a little bit more of an endurance fest. Hi Metroid. Are you going to pop out? Enjoy lunch. Oh, well, you can do that too. See you up there. This guy. I'll probably destroy like 50 to get through this room. Get stupid. Yeah. And here's. Oh my goodness. Off, please. That's not getting off. That's staying lashed on when I didn't want you to be lashed on any. Got Bob over. Thank you. I didn't want Bob over. Oh my goodness. This would not be a good time to die. Here we go. Let's get out of there. And this is actually one area where there's. I would say there is a lack of save stations. There is not enough for this area. And you can keep spinning if you want to. You don't come back. <laughs> There's a Metroid in there. And. I can get all the Metroids on me. That's really an idea, right? Hi. Oh my goodness, locked door. Of course. Now, some other things I have not mentioned about this just because I've been terrorized by these metrics here. There are a lot of these morph tunnels and such, and they play, and these gates obviously, they play a role in the escape. The escape in this hack, I would say, is even worse than terrain here. Oh wow, I could just shoot between both of you. That's amazing. Now are you open? Thank you. Yeah, the escape is worse. It is the longest escape in any Metroid hack by far. Which isn't a good thing for. It's hard to do a long escape. And do it really good. Because the longer you go, I mean, it's an escape. You're trying to make the player, you know, rush to get to the end, so. You don't want to give them forever so you can just lollygag. And. And so it's it's just really hard to do that you have this super long escape. You can be Metroids. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh my goodness, that was Metroids. Metroids. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. 
the escape is super long. You could be 10, 15 minutes into the escape and then die. That is not fun. That is the downside to having a long escape because you want to make it a challenge. You don't want to give the player a whole ton of time, but you want to have give them enough. I guess. Metroid? I am not your feast. Oh, hi. good you come back. I can just farm you. See, that is the downside of a really long escape. It's just... Come here, you. I need some energy. I'll probably lose it in the next room. Come here. You're on screen here. And that is one reason why I like Z-Factor's escape a lot. I mean, it's a big, huge hack. But the escape, you have two minutes. Now the timing on it is really tight. I finished that. Got to the ship with under a second left and I beat that. So, yeah, I mean, it, you're going to die or whatever. But you compare that with this one where you have, I believe it's 25 minutes to escape. And instead of two minutes, oh hey, time ran out. You know you have a two minute window to do it. Here, if you die 15 minutes in, you're like, I have to do all that just to get back to that point, and then you still have to continue on. It's... That's the problem with really big escapes. I'm not saying you shouldn't do them, but just keep in mind they are harder to pull off. And inevitably, there are going to be issues with longer escape that shorter escapes don't have. So it's just something to keep in mind. Oh, and you lose your items during escape. Actually, you lose it during the Mother Brain fight. That's her rainbow beam or whatever, her brain beam. So yeah, we've gone through terrain, and we have not found a single safe station. Hi. Yeah, screw attack is good for these guys. <laughs> so yeah, here is our wonderful safe station, finally. I would prefer a few safe stations to break up terrain a little more. You know, you've gotten here. You've gone through a couple of my turn rooms. Here's a safe room. Here's a save. That way, if you die, you don't have to go all the way through terrain. And that's kind of the big issue with the end of this hack. I mean, because while it is definitely harder, which I don't think is a bad thing, it's not ridiculous. I mean, I was having issues and I'm still alive, so. It's just, if you get near the end and then you die, like say you don't have any reserve tanks, you just got to the big Metroid. Oh, hey, giant side offer. Now you're dead. Then, yeah, you're not going to be happy. You have to go through all of terrain again. Which is not fun. So, and the other issue with the big escape, big long escape, is you can't give the player a safe station during the escape. It does not work. Unless you somehow hack away into it, into the game where a player can save and it will keep the time and the timer where they saved at. But then again, you also run the risk of if the player saved at a save station but they didn't have enough time to finish the rest of the escape then they're saved right there. So, you either have to give out a ridiculous amount of time or whatever, but... Yeah. So, those are just some issues inherent with longer escapes. Another ring? Yeah. 
and I am actually kind of tanking damage. I don't want to take too much though because I'm not sure. I think I need six energy tanks because I believe I am positive the rainbow beam thing is actually stronger. So it takes more energy in the sack. Besides taking away your items. Maybe it doesn't. Yelp, yeah, it does. And hey, look at that. I don't have suit or anything. And one of the interesting things, which could be an escape ender in this hack is is that there's an item you have to collect that's a missile tank that gives you 10 missiles and if you m miss one missile you're done you are absolutely done you can't read it there's two missile doors I believe you have to open waste one of your 10 missiles you get that's it so, yeah, you have to be careful with this. So, uh, Metro is going to sacrifice itself for me, spawn another M, which... Yeah. And... We will actually end the video off here, right after defeat Mother Brain. That way, I've got to train in a video to the escape number, because... Quite honestly, I'll probably have to edit that together. I'll probably have to record this escape a couple times. I don't die. And I'll just edit it together to make it look like, oh hey, yeah, that was amazing. He didn't die. Who knows, maybe I'll put a bunch of deaths in a blooper reel or something. Alright, so. Fun times with escape coming up. Mother Brain is, as always, with Hyper Beam. No threat at all. Just don't get yourself killed by her, because that would be embarrassing. Newton, Brock, I need to Thank you. Oh, let's just do one more. And drool on the floor. That's the need to shine. So, with that, we will see you for the escape in the next video. And hopefully it goes well. So we will see you for that.